I'm Dr. Ben Gertzel. I'm the CEO of Singularity Net, which is a, a project bringing AI and blockchain together using decentralized networks to create AI applications serving a, a whole bunch of different markets. And, and we're also working toward more and more ad advanced AI with the, the ultimate goal of, of creating real real artificial general intelligence ultimately at, at the human level and, and, and even beyond. So what I want to talk about now is some very practical and concrete projects that we're working on, my colleagues and I, in, in the Singularity Net ecosystem to make this, this big vision of decentralized AI and decentralized AGI in, into, into a reality. Because I mean, uh, having, having a vision is one thing understanding what needs to be done to uh, you know transform humanity and, and the economy is one thing and it, it's it's all very exciting to see a path to the technological singularity which I've been working on my whole career but actually building this stuff and making it work is, is another thing and this is well underway and the collaboration between singularity net and Cardano platform is a is a big part of it so let me uh let me share my screen here and uh, show you some of the exciting things we're working on to realize the uh, vision of decentralized uh, decentralized AGI. So Singularity Net, it's a network of software agents. The software agents can live anywhere on the planet. I mean, before long, they'll be off the planet uh, as well. Right now, there's no... Singularity Net nodes uh, off the planet Earth, but the the nodes in the network can be software nodes running AI. They can be nodes holding data. They can be software applications that that use AI processes, or they can be people who are coding AI or using products that 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 leverage AI. All the nodes in this network are connected in a fully decentralized way with no central controller and the blockchain used behind the scenes to make secure decentralized communication and and coordination happen i mean one one aspect of singularity net is that we have a marketplace for ai services where anyone who needs ai services can go on there and pay with our agix uh, cryptographic token for the services that they need but it's also more than a, a two-sided marketplace because the ai agents in the network can communicate with each other, they can outsource work to, to each other, they can rate each other in, in, on performance and various metrics, they can collaborate with each other on doing things. So it's a, it's a network and a marketplace. And I mean, we're developing special language for the AIs to communicate with each other in the network about, about, about what, what they're doing. This is real, you can use it right now. I mean, if you, uh, if you're an AI developer or entrepreneur, you can publish your AI on our platform and you, you know you have a global decentralized blockchain based channel to reach users for your, your AI product. If you're an, an end user, I mean, you can, without even knowing it, you might today be using some AI product that leverages Singularity Net's platform on the back end, but you can also explicitly go to the Singularity Net marketplace, make an account and use the, use the the AI services that, that are available there. And we've we've gotten an exciting amount of community participation as we've been building this out, the Singularity Net community, both software developers and users, uh, enthusiasts, AGIX uh, token holders, a very, very active, uh, exciting group of people. And we're psyched to see the Singularity Net community begin to come together with the, with the Cardano community. So we launched the Singularity Net AGI token originally on uh, the Ethereum platform as an ERC20 token. That was the easiest thing to do in late 2017 when we launched uh, when we launched Singularity Net. But obviously, the world has uh, has evolved quite a lot since that time, and we we transitioned from AGI to AGIX, where the X is is for cross platform, and we're excited that. You know, very soon this fall, we're, we're going to be releasing the version of the AGIX token on the on the Cardano platform, and I mean this should bring greater scalability, lower cost, and uh, really interesting and rich flexibility that comes from the Plutus smart contract uh, 
framework. I think this uh, Singularity Net AJAX token will be the first major native asset to be launched as a Cardano native asset. And, you know, after the initial launch of the AGIX on Cardano token, we'll be moving more and more of the Singularity Net platform over to Cardano and then developing new features on, on the Cardano platform that we couldn't do on the on the Ethereum platform because of, of limitations of, of Ethereum. So I've been I've been following Cardano for quite some time. I originally was attracted by the use of the Haskell language because I've been a Haskell developer since like 1993, way back before GHC, even before Haskell was, was, was well known. It seemed like a really good judgment call to be using a, a language like Haskell with its high level of security and its amenability to program verification and all that. It seemed like a great choice to be using something like that for for a blockchain, as I dug deeper and deeper in, I became more more impressed with Cardano, and I could see a lot of synergies that that would allow us to really more fully realize the underlying vision of of decentralized AGI, which was the inspiration behind Singularity Net on on the on the Cardano platform. One aspect to this is the AI DSL domain specific language for AI that we're now developing as a collaboration between the Input Output Global and Singularity Net. This is sort of an API of APIs or meta API for AI services. And it's a it's a functional language that one AI agent on Singularity Net uses to talk to other AI agents on on Singularity Net. And the the deployment of this abstract AI language for AIs to talk to each other and describe what they're doing to each other, the deployment of this within Plutus on, on Cardano can be done just in much more elegant, inexpensive and if efficient ways than, than you could do within the Ethereum and, and Solidity ecosystem. So the, the AI DSL, which we hope to roll out to end users sometime next year, I mean, this is is one pretty cool in the works example of something we'll do with that with Singularity on Cardano that we, we weren't able to do able to do on Ethereum. And I think that is really key to our vision of allowing different AI agents to cooperate and combine with the, with each other, collaborating in ways that even their designers may not have envisioned, so that you can move toward an emergent level of intelligence in the overall network of, of AI agents, even beyond the intelligence put into each of the of the individual agents. So what what I want to go through for the rest of this talk is some of the interesting projects that are evolving in the Singularity Net ecosystem, uh, le leveraging all the affordances provided by the Singularity Net platform. And most of these will achieve full fruition only with Singularity Net building on, on Cardano because of the, the low cost and, and high scalability and flexibility that the Cardano platform brings. So e each of these things, I'm, I'm going to review here uh, nine or ten different things, each of which is their own project. Some have their own tokens that will be Cardano native assets. Some are, are leveraging only the, the AGIX token, but each of these is its own really cool, really important project that uses decentralized AI, both to deliver valuable services to end users in specific vertical niches and to gradually build up the the overall intelligence in the whole Singularity Net network of, of agents, moving us further and further toward toward beneficial general intelligence. This is actually a lot of cool things that we're brewing, and this isn't even a complete enumeration. So I'm uh, I'm going to go very lightly over each of these things. But there's information online about all 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 of these sort of in process applications of, of Singularity Net on Cardano. I would uh, encourage you to, you know, go go online and uh, dig into the the many many details. So Singularity DAO we launched earlier this year. This is AI for decentralized finance in, in altcoin markets. And this uses AI to automatically manage sort of non-custodial non sets of, uh, of digital assets defined in the blockchain. Now, we, we've been applying this to ERC-20 tokens. We're very psyched to apply AI to, to manage baskets of uh, Cardano native assets as, as that as that matures. And I think AI has been there in Wall Street for a really long time, but we need AI to be applied to finance in a far more democratic and 
de decentralized way. So it's not just benefiting a few financial elites, but is you know uplifting the financial health of everyone on the planet, and it is making the crypto ecosystem a more and more viable way for exciting new technology projects to uh, to grow and and, and flourish uh, financially. Nunet. Yet another really exciting project being built on Singularity on Cardano. This decentralizes processing power. So I mean, all, all this AI that that we're running in the Singularity Net platform on top of Cardano, this needs processing power that comes from somewhere. It can't all be from AWS, Google Cloud, and Alibaba and and Azure. What we need is for all the processing power that's implicit in our in our phones and sitting in our laptops and in companies server farms at night when the companies aren't using them. We, we need all this processing power to be pulled into pulled into serving decentralized AI networks. And NuNet, NuNet enables this. It's a, it's a decentralized processing power platform, tokenomically incentivized, so you can get NuNet tokens for, for providing your processing power from your own devices into the NuNet network. And it's, it's customized for for decentralized AI, so kind of filling in the layer between hardware and AI to give a decentralized alternative to big tech server farms. And one key application we're looking at here is decentralized social networks. If you want to make a fully decentralized version of, say, Facebook or Twitter or you know TikTok or some amazing new form of social network, all the AI that these social networks need needs processing power that's got to come from from somewhere, NuNet lets all of our hardware be that somewhere. And to help flesh this out, we've developed a fake news warning app running on NuNet as just a first step in the direction of decentralized social media on on NuNet. Uh, Rejuve also in the uh, sort of hardcore science vein, Rejuve is a it's a network bringing together biomedical data and machine learning, machine reasoning, AI analytics toward toward the goal of solving aging, solving solving death. I mean, the, the key to promoting radical human longevity is data from all of our bodies. And if, if we can take our own medical records, data gathered from our own bodies, our, our DNA, our, our blood work, our fitness tracker data, we can upload that into a decentralized network such as Rejuve is creating with tokenomic uh, incentives from, from the, the Rejuve token to to help uh, give additional motivation for the data upload. This data can then be processed by AI algorithms running on SingularityNet to understand better and better what makes some people healthier and, and longer live than others. And I've been applying machine learning to longevity genomics since 2001, but decentralized blockchain-based networks give a powerful new way to get more and more data into the machine learning and machine reasoning algorithms to help, help us work toward radically radically improving human health. One more type of network, uh, Mindplex. So this is a decentralized content platform, a different sort of decentralized social network. And I mean, the, the idea here is that those who create content that goes online and those who consume content that, that, that goes online, the, these, all these people should be considered as, you know, joint participants in a content focused, decentralized social network when you get recommendations of, of what what content you might want to consume or what content you might want to create to meet the 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 audience that, that you want all this should, should be mediated in an open and transparent way by by decentralized uh, machine learning and we'll be launching a futurist uh, media new news opinion and and uh, fiction website with all sorts of cool content on there and using our decentralized recommendation algorithms and AI mechanisms running on SingularityNet, NuNet, and, and, and Cardano to sort of aggregate a community around, around this content in a, in a really uh, intelligent, transparent, and, and de decentralized way. The same technologies can go beyond traditional content and also into virtual reality, into the, into the metaverse. So... So, so FIADAO, which is a decentralized autonomous organization created as a joint venture between Hanson Robotics and, and SingularityNet. So FIADAO, among other things, other ways of working on its mission of SOFIA as a benevolent, decentralized, 
AI system embodied in the world's most sophisticated humanoid robot and, and corresponding avatars. Sophia now, as part of uh, its benevolent robotic AGI quest, will be working on a virtual reality metaverse in which Sophia and, and other humanoid agents play, a, play a, a key role. There'll be a game aspect, there will be art and uh, NF, NFT aspects, leveraging the ability of Cardano platform to create NFTs at, at low cost and, uh, and uh, high, high efficiency. So watch, watch for more on that, it should be very exciting. And we also have Sophia's little sister, which is uh, Grace. Another amazing robot created by Hanson Robotics in Awakening Health, a joint venture between Singularity Net, Hanson Robotics, and Singularity Studio. Grace is Sophia's little sister, aimed specifically at the uh, the elder care space, a sort of nursing assistance uh, assistant, which which can really help overworked healthcare staff to be better give you know compassionate and intelligent service. And the back end of the Grace robot. The back end gets its AI from SingularityNet running on again Cardano and 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 NuNet platforms, which is really the only way to get the needed AI firepower behind behind something like a you know a benevolent army of uh, of humanoid health healthcare robots. Now, all of these cool applications that, that I'm talking about, you know they. They can leverage the AI technologies that we have working right now today on SingularityNet platform that will all become, you know, cheaper and, and faster and easier to use once SingularityNet is fully ported to Cardano, which is, is now in, in, in the works. All of these AI applications leverage AI that we have working right now, but they will all get better and better and smarter and smarter as we move further from where we are now toward true artificial general intelligence and uh, I think now we're we're sort of in the midst globally of a transition from narrow AI toward powerful artificial general intelligence that can transfer knowledge far beyond its experience in a more imaginative and creative way which in itself is a step toward the end goal of AI development which is radical super intelligence so True AGI, which is, is, is the final platform and ecosystem project I want to discuss, will will provide AGI running on SingularityNet and, and Cardano platform to uh, every every industry uh, on, 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 the, on the planet, right? So, I mean, the, the specific ecosystem projects I've been describing are great. Each leverages decentralized AI in a certain way. But we also want to provide this more broadly to any company or any project out there that wants to use our, our decentralized AI. For that, we need Mind as a Service, decentralized AGI as a service, which is, which is what true AGI uh, as an ecosystem project in, in SingularityNet will, 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 will be about. And all these projects, they're diverse. They're serving their own specific user bases and their own specific vertical markets. They have their own AI models and reasoning engines and knowledge bases yet they're all coming they're all coming together to use the same underlying platform which is singularity net ai agent system new net cobbling together processing power to run the ais and cardano providing a secure decentralized underpinning for all this ai agent play which is you know fast efficient and flexible due to the the plutus smart smart contract uh framework so yeah i'm really excited about where we're going now like we have basic platforms and systems and ai models working the move to cardano will be a huge upgrade getting us beyond the limitations of ethereum that have been holding us back in in many ways and we're ready to you know attack uh every every vertical market uh, at once and really transition the transition the global AI ecosystem toward benevolent decentralized AGI.